Welcome to the lesson number two in the chapter eight, that is graphs of polar functions. I hope you have watched the videos of lesson one. If you have not watched it, please go and watch the previous videos. Be thorough with the lesson one and then continue to listen to because they are in continuity. You need the information and knowledge of lesson one to understand lesson two thoroughly. The learning objectives of this lesson are graphing polar equations. It is very simple and straightforward by table of values. You plot the points and graph. And the second objective is to identify and graph classical curves. Classical curves are like a special type of curves which we'll come across in this lesson. And uh, the keywords which you'll come across this lesson are uh, cardioid, limousine, the C with the, uh, you know, this line over here, the dash, is called, you know, Limasson, Lemniscate, Rose, Spiral of Archimedes. This is pronounced as Archimedes. Now, these are the keywords. These, you may not have heard this before because these are the classical curves. These are the special type of curves which we'll study in the second objective. Uh, before we continue with the lesson, I will just introduce a little bit on this special type of curves, the keywords, and then from the next video, we will solve example problems of this lesson. Here, <coughs> sorry. Now, these are the special type of, sorry, these are the special type of uh, graphs, polar graphs. You know, polar is relating to circle, you know, angle, circle. So now, first is circles, basic circles. But look over here, when you have equation like this, r equals a cos theta or r equals a sin theta, you, if you graph this, then you will come across a circle graph. Now, what is the difference over here? There are four types of graphs, four types of circles, sorry. One is at the right side, one is at the left, up and down. It's very simple. If it's cos, it will always be the right or left. If it's sine, it's up or down because sine is related to the vertical and cos to the horizontal x. Okay, over here it's related to the x-axis. Sine is with the y-axis. Now, how does it change right and left? Whenever it's greater, this radius, the a value, not the radius, the a value, the constant is greater than zero. That means it's one, two, three, any positive values, then it will be at the right. If it's less, it's in the left. Similarly, whenever greater in the vertical axis is up and less than will be down. So this is the thing. And you know the graph, uh, the polar grid from the last lesson. It's from 0, 90 degrees is pi by 2, 180 is pi, 3 pi by 2 is 270 degree, and then you continue again, 360, it's continuation. Now, limousons are something like this. You can see sometimes there'll be a curve over here, there will be a small inner circle, sometimes it will be just like a heart shape. Now, here are the, here is the standard formula, whenever you have r equals a plus or minus b cos theta, or it's sine theta over here. So then you will get a such uh, graphs. Now, again, you must, uh, you, just now we saw in the circles, whenever we have cos, what happens? It's either right or left. When it's sine, it's up or down. So this is the thing. Now you can see the standard form. You can go across this. We will come across this again. But now, uh, before going to the limousine, I want to say there is cardioids also in limousines. Now, what is this cardioid? Cardioid is something like this. See, this is the shape. Um, it's similar, but when we solve problems, you'll come to know the difference when you graph and everything. Over here, the thing about cardioid is the values of A and B are equal. That is the only difference. A limousine, the same uh, standard form, but only difference is the A and the B, the constant values is equal. If it was R equals 2 plus 2 cos theta, then it's called a cardioid. Only when these two are equal. But if it's less than B or greater than B or, you know, in different cases, you will always get a limousine itself, but it will be the dimpled, convex, or inner loop. Then we have roses. Rose, it's like a petal over here. 
and this is the standard form it's a cos n theta or a sin n theta now over here you can see based on the n values here the number of petals varies so you can see whenever it's odd numbers okay when it's odd numbers three five seven it's just those number of petals see this one two three one two three four five when the rows has n if n is odd and n is even there's two different cases okay when it's odd it's just those same but when it's even look over here instead of four we have two times it that's eight one two three four five six seven eight if it's two we have four so this is the relation over here and then lemonus skate and spiral of archimedes lemonus skates are like this with the standard form of a square cos 2 theta or sorry r square equals or r square equals a square sine 2 theta and the graph is similar to this and last one spiral of archimedes it's a spiral now the standard form is very simple r equals a theta plus b now the pronunciation is given as archimedes and now this is how it looks don't worry about this if you cannot understand at once no worries because we will solve problems you'll be more thorough this is just introduction to all these graphs it's better to understand the shape now uh, and the standard form when they ask you the question spiral of archimedes or they give you the standard form r equals a theta plus b you must know that is spiral of archimedes or if it's lemnus skate or cardioid or circle so this is an important thing in the next video we will start solving the example problems